Right, I'm going to show you how to add a loading screen to your Roblox game. So, firstly, go ahead and create a loading GUI. So, I'm going to insert a screen GUI and start a GUI. I'm going to call this loading screen. And inside of here, I'm going to add a frame. Now, this frame, I'm going to set the size to 1, 0, comma uh, 1, comma 0. Okay, so it fills up the entirety of the X axis and the entirety of the Y axis. Okay, I'm also going to set border size pixel to zero and then inside of there I'm going to insert a text label. Now you don't have to make your GUI the same as mine, I'm just making it really really basic. So I'm going to go to my text label, I'm going to set the position to 0.5,0, 0, 0.5,0 so it's in the middle of both axes and then I'm going to set the anchor point to 0.5,0, 0.5 so that it is truly in the middle, you can see the anchor point that's now in the middle and then I'm going to set the border size pixel to 0 and the size I'm going to keep that the same I'm going to set text scale to be uh, checked I'll change the font a bit as well and I'll set the text to say loading okay you can do some extra code if you want to make the GUI look nice maybe make these G uh, these loading dots um, animate or flash or something but once you've got your GUI um, we're going to go and place it well, first we're going to go into replicated first and insert a local script into there. Then take your loading screen and paste the um, GUI into that local script. Now, if you didn't know what replicated first is, replicated um, first, basically anything inside of replicated first is going to be replicated to all clients, so players in the game, um, before anything else is. Okay, so it's not stored on the server, the server doesn't see it, it's only for storing things that go to the clients in the game. In this case, the loading screen, because only the players need to see the loading screen, not the server. So, we firstly need to remove the default loading screen. Uh, and the default loading screen, you, might, you may have seen it before, it looks like this. Okay, and it just basically plays until the game is loaded. So, let's go back in here, and to disable it, all you have to do is say game dot replicated first and say colon remove default loading screen okay and that is going to remove it you may see it very, very quickly but um, it won't be it won't stay on the screen for a prolonged amount of time okay even when the game has pretty much loaded so next we need to get the players player GUI so local player GUI and player GUI is where all of their GUI elements are stored you might say oh well they're stored in starter GUI actually but that's not true they get replicated or cloned into player GUI when they join the game so we can wait for that to be added in by saying game dot players dot local player colon wait for child player GUI and once we've got that we can say player GUI colon set top bar transparency to zero now we're doing this whoops I put nine I mean zero we're doing this because we don't want the player to see anything going on in the game whilst it's still loading that will just make it opaque so we can't see through it next thing we need to do we need to clone the GUI so we can say local GUI equals script dot loading screen colon clone so we'll just make a duplicate of it and then we can say GUI dot parent equals player GUI so we're just putting it into the players player GUI so they can see it and then you can do a wait here so you could either wait for a certain number of uh, seconds and then after that amount of seconds you could tween the GUI off screen so you could say GUI dot frame colon tween position you can say udim2.new 0, 0, 1, 0, so it just goes off the screen, goes downwards. And you can say in, out, or another easing direction or easing style. I'm going to use sign, and I'm going to set it to 0 0.5, and that will just really, uh, that will smoothly tween it. Then after 0 0.5 seconds, I'm going to say GUI colon destroy. Okay, so it's destroyed from the player GUI, and it won't come back when they reset. Okay, so... Um, now that we've done that, as I said, you can either wait five seconds or you could say uh, repeat uh, wait, repeat wait uh, one until game is loaded. Okay, and that's going to play the GUI until the game's loaded. If you've got a game that doesn't take long to load, the players won't see the loading GUI for very long, so you could just keep it to a wait five. But bear in mind the game may not fully be loaded by then, and you can change this wait number to however many seconds you want it to be on screen for. Okay, so let's go and check it out. I'm going to click on play and let's see if our loading GUI works. So there we go, it says loading, 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 
and then after about five seconds, about now, it goes off screen, and if we try and reset, it won't Ooh. pop back up because it got destroyed from our player GUI. So there we go, we've just created a loading screen in Roblox Studio. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and if you want to take the code from this video, you can become a channel member by clicking the join button underneath the video next to the subscribe button, or you can copy it out as well, it's up to you. But thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.